Hey family, it's your girl Nancy Drew and Mama C and we're back with another episode of Two Black Mothers. Make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget the notification button and leave your comments below. We'll be sure to get back with you. Go to Go bed. bed. Like, really? <laughs> Two black mothers. When I say go to bed, Isabella looked back like, who are you talking to? Mm. <laughs> what is today? Today is throw away the kids Thursday. <laughs> Throw them away. Oh, throw them away. Throw the dogs away too, because you hear mine in the background. Throw them away. Throw them away. Well, I got my glass while she's talking to the kids. I got my glass, and I'm going to fill my glass with my poppy. Yes. Tonight, I am drinking watermelon. Watermelon. Yes, it's so good. I'm going to do my commercial while she um fussing at the kids. Why? These kids nowadays don't understand English. They don't. But as soon as you tell them that you ain't got no food for them, then they, they, they hurt. Like They understand yeah. food. Yeah, that's all they understand. Snack. Yeah. Mm. I got my calm in there tonight. I need some calm. You see it? I it's got in there. It's you don't mix it up? Mm -hmm. I just poured it in, so it takes a minute. I saw the gummies at um Publix the other day. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like the powder. I don't trust the gummies. Is somebody singing? Yeah. Uh, told you they don't understand English. My my mute was to shut up and get out of here. And still strolling through here singing. Like they don't understand English. If you well, told them to come in there and say something, they'll be all shy and run away. Exactly. If I said, come sing your song for the world. Mm -hmm. But want to walk through here? <laughs> yeah, that's how they are. That's how they are. So what's on the pocket? Do you have a mountain lion? No. Oh, I thought I heard something grab. Um. <laughs> um, so what's on the docket? Um, you know, Diddy is still trending. Um, diddy, diddy, diddy. Take you know, 50 Cent Baby Mama was named as one of the sex workers in the lawsuit. That's um, who he was talking to? Yeah. His 12-year-old son. That's his, her, his mother. Um, he is so messy. Why would he post that on... Why would he post that on Twitter? I thought he was talking about... I didn't know who he was talking about. I thought he was talking about some... I thought he was talking about... Um, yeah, yes, mm -hmm. that's who I was talking. Thought he was talking about. Mm -hmm. He was talking about his. Are you? He is so messy. Yeah, he, he was so talking about his baby mama. Messy. Yeah, then he posted like, "I'm gonna take you to court for full custody" because I had no idea you was a sex worker. And Nero, so you knew. You so knew. then she posted crying, talking about she moved down the street from him so he could have time with his son, and he only seen his son ten times in two years. And he's not a good father and all Which this stuff. Which one is this? Which kid? Is this the first one? No, this child is 12. Mm. Because the first one said he wasn't a good dad either. Mm -hmm. mm. But the first one said he wasn't a good dad because he said he was only sending $6,000 a month and that wasn't suffice. Yeah. Um, he about $6,000 a month now. Yeah, I don't know. Um... I don't know what's what's up with Daphne and, and they son. Um, but I know 50 don't care nothing about her saying he ain't a good daddy. He wanna talk about the sex working part. 
Mm-hmm. But she was named along with Carisha as someone that was yeah. on the table. Hmm. Yeah. And now he's asking um Austin what side shirt he wear. Oh, um, yeah. So her and Carisha was named as sex workers, but now they're trying to say that everything this person is saying, this is Who the is this the um I think this is the, the bodyguard or the security or whoever. The bodyguard that was on um surviving Diddy. Yeah, I think it's the security guard who filed it. This is another $30 million lawsuit. The security guard filed a lawsuit? <laughs> I think it's him. Um, it said Rob. Who, 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 what's the man? The security guard, Budo? Uh, what's the man's name? Is his name Robert? Rob? Oh, I did say somebody say Rod. Yeah, but I didn't know that that was yeah. the security guard. I think that's the security guard. Um. Uh, that's that's suing. He just laying out all the different allegations, but he's suing for thirty million as well. Um, Homeland Security said that this is not a witch hunt. Um, they are not just you know out just trying to get him for anything. They said that they retrieved a lot of footage um, from his home security. That he has cameras in every room. And that there is... They don't have cameras in there with his kids. He said... They said that there is videos of a list of celebrities doing illegal things. Um, I want to see that list. So we don't know. Um, people is clutching their pearls, hoping that they're not on the video. <laughs> like Freak <Nick. laughs> It's like, um, what's that place that you go to that's in Atlanta? Uh, what's it called? Oh, that mm-hmm. place that you were talking about, you was want to start? And you mm-hmm. want to check it out? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I can't remember what the name of it is now, but I feel like that's what was going on in Diddy It House. was a swingers club. It was an mm-hmm. eyes wide shut type of party. Like, you ever um, seen that movie, Eyes Wide Shut? There is so many interviews coming out with um, like people that was from making the band that was like, you know, you had this to be. Who I want to talk to somebody. I need this person. Who you need? Let's see. And he is no. I mean, where is he? I ain't seen him on a social media, TikTok, nothing. Do he got a page? We need to find him. Yes, he have a page. Farnsworth Bentley. He on Instagram. I what mean, is it like? I mean, do he currently post or has he disappeared? Let's see. This was five days ago. Well, somebody commented five days ago. Yeah, this was. How can you tell when they when they posted? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, five days ago. That's what it said. He posted it. What did it say? The Ram Shop, Peach Tree. Shout out to Nick Cannon. I don't know. The Ram that, Shop. Shot. That was the place. Um, in the Freak Nick video. Oh. I need, where is he? This was posted three weeks ago. He ain't posting nothing new. And he ain't saying nothing because guess what? He was a sex worker too. Um, And he has nothing to say. Is people in his comments asking him? He ain't so let's nothing. talk about it. You're single, man. Nope, they not. That was 27 weeks ago. That was a year ago. Um... I need to know where he at. I need to find him. We need to find him. We need to find him. Where is he? Well, you need to send him a, a message and say, would you like to do an, an exclusive? Somebody interview? said, when does your NDA expire? Oh, yeah. He got, I mean, if all these other people witnessed this stuff, he definitely witnessed all the buffoonery. But the boy said, um, one dude interview. And these interviews is old. Like these ain't new interviews that they is picking up from people. Like one boy from making the band, he said that you know nothing never went on with him. He said he never had no issue with Diddy. He said, but he know that you have to get a special invite to the parties. And he was like, you know, Diddy do stuff like. The person that's gonna braid your hair is gonna be a gay man and see how you treat them. 
And if mm -hmm. you nice to them and you know accept them, then you invited to the party. But if you like, nah, dude, I want a girl to braid my hair, you ain't really on the list to come. So was he on the list? He said, he said, um, he he didn't discriminate on you know nobody doing his uh his hair, but he said he never went to the parties. He said he never went, but he had to invite. You know, he ain't gonna tell if he went anywhere. Exactly, Negro, you was there. You was there. You right. was there because you're trying to make the band. You made the band. Now you're trying to stick with Diddy. You was there. You was there. I think I think that oh uh, I I think when you be broke and you think that it's an opportunity to make it. You you do certain things. I think that is something that's very popular in the industry. That you will try things. I mean, Fifty Cent clearly remembers Diddy telling him, "I take you shopping." Um, uh, and he said he knew then that that's when something was funny with Diddy. Diddy was like, "I take you shopping." He was like, "I ain't never had no grown man tell me he'll take me shopping." Like, why would you want to take me shopping? I don't know. He could be lying. Fifty Cent be he be going too far into it. Fifty Cent be going far. He he talked about um Rick Ross being gay. Fifty Cent goes too far into it. Well, I don't right? know. You know, I, I trust Fifty. I feel like I don't. He. he I feel I like he troll too much. He. I feel like he may tell a joke, but he ain't gonna tell a lie. I feel like he will tell a joke um, of something that he don't know is true or not. I think okay, I, I believe that, but I but now, but so you, would you think that everybody else saying this, but he he's false? Uh, like he was in the industry, um, mm -hmm. he was not going to the parties, um, for some oh, reason. I mean, he, I'm sure he was at some parties. I mean, just like Stevie J. Stevie J. You know, called Fifty Cent out today. Said he want to fight him, want to punch him in the face, and all this stuff because you know no, he is. This was uh, this was news earlier today because Stevie J is also listed in this. Um, where's the video? It's on Instagram. It, I ain't really see nothing on TikTok today. Instagram had all oh, the on Instagram like that. Maybe I need to. Yeah. Um, send it to me. Let's let's talk about it. Okay, I'm gonna send it to you right now. But oh, um, this, um, look, Fifty Cent again. This gotta be no. This is really Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent is going in on. On Diddy too hard for me because like, he don't. I mean, that's that's how Fifty Cent do, and he don't like you. He gonna, he and, gonna that's, and that's what I feel is when he do stuff like that. I feel in it's always about homosexuality. I feel that there's an underline to that. Why are you always going in on the homosexuality part? But I feel like he go in on everybody. Anything that come up, if you name say enough time. Um, he done went in on Tierra Marie. Um, Tierra Marie, she's a singer from LA. What she owed him? She he she sued him, and then he sued her back and won, and and she owed him money. And every couple of years, he'd be like, "I need my money," and he post about her and stuff. She ain't even she ain't even relevant. Relevant. Name me somebody that's relevant because don't 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 name me somebody that ain't relevant. Relevant. Name okay. is, um, ja Rule. He goes he, in on his sexuality too. He ain't never said nothing. I ain't seen him say Ja Rule gay. I heard him say that his music suck and um um he don't sell no tickets. He remember he bought all his tickets to his concert. So he just that's what I'm saying. That he don't it don't have nothing to do with sexuality. If you don't like if he don't like you, then he's gonna go in on you. I think he has it, it the biggest people he talk about is always about his sexuality, Rick Ross and Diddy. And he always going about his sexuality. What did yeah, he say I, about I, um I Mr. Rick Ross thing too? I ain't hear him say nothing about Rick Ross sexuality. Yes. Yes. What did he say? He was the one be posting the pictures of him and Rick Ross, Rick Ross and Diddy kissing. Them AI pictures. Oh, I never seen it. Yes. That's what I've been always seeing Diddy be always talking about people. He done got sued by, by Rick Ross' wife because he went in her went on her so bad. Like he is the Wendy Williams of the internet trolls. 
He has free time. What's wrong with that? How do you have free times and you got 12 shows on, on, you don't have free time. He makes time to do that. And that is petty for me. It just seems like it's underlining. And I like 50, like he is hilarious, but some of the stuff that he do has an underlying tone to it. Like of think- all the things that they're talking about of Diddy with little girls, why do he hound on about little boys so much? When, when, Why do we on about him touching boys' booty holes so much? Well, that's what the boy said. But he how on that particular thing the most, like or more. But he, he did. But that's what I'm saying that it wasn't a um, thing in women too. But you don't hear him say about that. Well, yeah, I think that um maybe you're just saying that Diddy is gay, uh, allegedly. Um, because those is old videos that they playing of him talking about these interactions with Diddy. Um, now he just reposting stuff and putting his little caption underneath or whatever. But I sent you the Stevie J thing because Stevie J is also listed on in these reports along with I told you. Well, Cuba is Jr. I don't even know who this is. The Fifty Cent posted it an hour ago. Let's look on Fifty Cent page right now. Oh, that must have been the girl. That, that's the baby mama. It said you moved a half a mile away and hooked up something. Everything is Diddy. Everything. It's like oh. he's obsessed with him. Oh, he's obsessed with anybody that he don't like at the time. That's why I said, like, when it's when it was Ja Rule, he had a bunch of Ja Rule posts. When it's Rick Ross, he had a bunch of Rick Ross posts. Uh, whoever it is, he's he's going to post it. He's going to have his good old social media time. But is this the little boy who he moved next to? Who? Mm-mm. That's no. the one he got with the other girl, I think. Come on, 50. Like, I I mean, that's one of the ones of the rappers that I truly respect. Come on, 50. I need him to do better. Okay, you sent it to me? Uh-huh. CBJ. What do you say? Get your money, Curtis. Now go to the next slide. Oh, I'm about to say, what did he say? He said, woo, say it ain't so. Hitman Steve J, what the F? This shit is a mess. Go to the next one. Must be ready to meet his maker. Oh, he threatened him. Yeah. So you and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod? <laughs> How we go? I want you to fade. Go all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Curtis, you said, good, Curtis, man? your lunch is ready. You and your feelings about <laughs> Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade. <laughs> all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! 50 Cent go come back, first of all. Okay. <laughs> Stevie J just, he got a, what's all that moving he doing when he talking? Um, I don't know, but it's a list of people on this list. Like I told you, um, Cuba Good Jr. is on now. Um, well, what list? Who came up with the list? This is the lawsuit, I guess, from Little Rob. Whoever oh, the 13 page lawsuit. Then, okay, yeah, okay. Darius Cook was talking about it too. So it's a 13 page lawsuit that so Little Rod is suing Diddy now. So he's the right. next person, 30 million. And he lists people. Right. And Stevie J is one of the lists. Right. Sent Baby Mama is on the list. Mm-hmm. Young Miami. Young Miami. Cuba Jr. Okay. Now, and he is saying now, Little Rock mm-hmm. is a rapper. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Uh, hold on, man. 
I, I, I don't know what happened to y'all. No, ain't no one second. It's 8.37. Get in the bed. Get in the bed. We're having bed problems today, you guys. <laughs> I, I can't even lie. Just, I just don't know where you went. Uh, I, I don't know. You don't yes. see me? I don't see you no more. I don't. I see you. I, I don't, I'm sure you see me because I'm in the camera, but now, Austin, no, go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow at school. There you go. I'm back. Yeah, you're back. Okay. Um. So little Rob is a little Rob is a rapper. So tell everybody good night. Come on, Chase. You were singing earlier. That was we awesome. heard you. Oh, but now you want to act shy. Yeah, Don't be shy. He disappeared. Anywho. So you said little Rob is. You want to tell everybody good night? Come on, they want to see you. <laughs> good night, Chase. Mm -hmm. Say good night. Look at the camera. Oh, now it's the problem. Uh -huh. You were loud earlier to hear you clear as day. Uh huh. Oh, uh, okay. So you said Lil Rob is a rapper. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought that's what you said. No, I said Lil Rod. Um, uh, Darius Cook was talking about him. Let's see. Lil Rod is a producer. Little. How you spell it? Is it R O D or is it R O N? Oh yeah, the so did you? <laughs> what came up? So Lamar, you see Cubit in here, Diddy. Let me pull it up for you. Oh my God, this is ugly. Oh man, this makes me so sad. See, as soon as you search his name, all these people come up. So he was added as the co-defendant in Lil Rod lawsuit. So, so that means he was he was doing something to him too. Uh huh. This this is a sexual assault lawsuit. Oh, this is Hitman. Hitman. He is a producer. Oh, it's Hitman. Uh mm huh. -hmm. It says Hitman right here, Lil Rod. Click on it. Let me see his face. See if I, I don't think it's little hitman from Wildin' Out. Oh, okay. Y'all don't know this man. He look oh, okay. Mess. I did see that picture over there in that jean jacket. I didn't know who that was. He yeah. look a mess. Well, he is saying that he was essayed by a few celebrities at Diddy's house. For years. Uh-huh. And he allowed it as a grown person. Mm -hmm. So if you allow it, is it really an essay? I think. What did he say happened? I don't know. We had to look up the, the filings of the lawsuit to see what I'm sure somebody on TikTok got the papers to read. Um, but I need to know what happened. happened. I think the the want for fame and fortune makes people do things. I think that if, let's say, for instance, I was trying to become a star and I was at a celebrity house and they touched my leg. And maybe I'm uncomfortable, but I don't say anything because I want to make it and this person has made it. I think those are the type of things that go on. I think that they nudge at first just a little bit to see what your reaction is going to be. Mm -hmm. And when you don't stop it right away, that's when it ends up going further. And then after you do it the first time, it's going to continue to happen because they're going to feel like you're you're okay with it. But mm -hmm. then here we go down the line. I, I have never been essayed, so I don't really know why people hold it in for years but it seems to be a big thing that people do. Um, 
they hold it in for years before they say something. I don't know why, but that is very common. Mm. This is sad. This is so sad. You will hold it in indoor because if it was uncomfortable, you would think you would say something to someone to let them know that you don't appreciate that. Uh -uh, but now you want to hold it in and 40 years later, you want to sue somebody for some money because you was uncomfortable, but you failed to tell that person that you was uncomfortable. But you came to that person's house. Uh -huh. You over came to that person's house over and over and over again, knowing uncomfortable things was coming. You're not a child. You're a grown man. Uh -huh. I mean, you think of the Bill Cosby victim. They, they were 40 plus years ago. Um, Bill was in his twenties when he was dropping pills and they and they drank allegedly. Allegedly, um, and hey, here they come forty years later. Like I didn't want to ruin my career. I didn't want to be blackballed. Yeah, and and pills was allegedly dropped in their drink, and they was not cohesive to what was going on. But if they were coming to his room, you know, knowing something was going to happen, then that's a problem. But not knowing so they, something's happening, you got to pay off to you. Well, I'm telling you that people are going to say, I didn't know anything was going to happen. I thought we were going back to talk. I think we were going back. Now, to after out. the fifth time, you knew what something was happening. Oh, definitely. I mean, and in, the, in this lawsuit, it also says that he gives drugs to people. He was drugged. He's saying he was drugged. Now, I don't know if he said he was drugged every time, but they're saying that these parties consist of him passing out drugs. Which, like I said, people will not say anything to you. I mean, really, it's a case of can I win? So, Casey coming out and her getting 30 off the top like that, it was no hesitation. He paid that 30 as soon as it hit the fan. Mm -hmm. Then it makes to where the same thing happened to me. Oh, can, can I get 30? And so that's where it comes back to that because nobody wants to be the one to pull the trigger. Well, I think the ones after that are a little too late. And I think he's going to start fighting them. Oh, he, he has he's, no he's choice. Fight this one. He, I mean, yeah. but, but now, now we're in an Archella whirlwind. Um, now they're trying to take them down. Now it's no longer, it's no longer about the financial aspect of the victims. Now it's about federal. Mm -hmm. So now they no longer care who's trying to sue you for some money. We trying to take you down. Mm -hmm. So you know, Homeland Security wouldn't have went in there because Little Rob wants thirty million. You know, they going in there because they believe they have something. Yeah, they believe they had something. But so I was watching TMZ today and they were saying normally on a normal case, they would not go in there with that, with that so much of that esteem. Yeah, they, that was being over. It was overboard. It was uh -huh. definitely overboard. They were saying that the reason and the Homeland Security said that they went in there with so much because they knew it was armed guards at the door. Uh -huh. But if you would have went in there with the warrant in the police, I don't think the armed guards would have shot you. Uh -huh. I think they would have complied. You went in there to make a statement. Uh -huh. You went in there to like the way you went in there to make a statement, huh? That your money doesn't mean anything. Exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. And tore up the house. Like uh -huh. I saw pictures of uh, the video of everything and tore up the house like every little piece they tore up everything but did they say did they receive anything did they really get anything i mean the statement from homeland security is that they they have some stuff i don't think they do oh she's a month well we would just have to wait and see um uh, i think they had to say they had some stuff to justify the reason why they came in that house like that uh -huh. I mean, I would hope that he is smarter than, than Kells and that he got rid of anything that was in there because you knew ahead of time, like Casey filed that. Uh, is her name Cassidy or Casey? Cassidy. 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 
I thought it yeah. was Catholic. We're gonna call it C. No, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we won't. We won't be talking. I ain't had nothing to do with it. <laughs> well, when that young lady filed her lawsuit, I would have got rid of everything that I need to get rid of right then. Because right then, yeah. So maybe he did. Well, that. When that second lawsuit came right behind it, you would have thought, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm sure of her his statue, he was tipped off. That's why he wasn't there. Mm hmm And now they still saying he was going out of town. I mean, he was taking the kids on spring break, but like you said, when why you left Justin and King behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was tipped off. They probably he probably I don't he probably put them there for a plant and knowing they wasn't gonna get arrested or anything like that. Mm -hmm. They didn't have anything. There was nothing in the house. There was no drugs in the house for them to even arrest the two kids. Mm -hmm. They it was drugs on the jet. Right? On the jet, they arrested that person. They couldn't arrest. They didn't arrest Diddy. He didn't get arrested because if they get drugs off the jet, they only gonna arrest who say they they my drugs. Mm -hmm. Somebody gotta take the ball. It on his jet, was it? Yeah, it was on Diddy's jet. Oh, I thought it was on somebody else. It was mm -hmm. somebody. They else. said they said that's Diddy's um drug mule. Oh, so he take the rap. And I guess he was a ex um college basketball player. I don't know how he became a drug mule. He was a he is a college basketball player. No, they said he no longer goes to the college. But they showed like his college footage and stuff, and then you know went into he was arrested for being a drug mule. Oh, I didn't know it was on the plane though. I had to look did he drug mule. But it was um it was kids on the plane. And they didn't show no kids, they just show the plane and the boy getting off and did it standing up. You got something for us? The white, it was a white guy. Yeah. I didn't see that boy, boy getting arrested. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Body cam video show arrest on drug charges. On Florida airport. Let me see. My dog bed just got delivered to the porch. Huh? Dog bed. Oh, it didn't sound like you said that. What? This dead dog dead. What did it sound like I said? Dog dead. Dog dead? Yeah, it says your dog is dead. That's oh, <laughs> no, B-E-D. Oh, okay, so that's him getting arrested. Uh-huh. And then some dogs fighting. Right. Oh, look at these little babies. Y'all play tennis? Mm, Why you type it in on um on tickety top? Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Why when you go into a website now, you get all these ads? Like, what is that? You can't read an article without four hundred thousand ads popping up. Because y'all ain't got cable, so now these people pay for ads on things that they know y'all look at, which is videos online and stuff so that's how they have to get their advertising in because y'all didn't pay y'all xfinity comcast direct it looks like we got that scam like spam mm -hmm. i mean like what i was like do i have a virus on my phone why is all these ads keep popping up when you're trying to just read an article you can't even read your article because there's so many ads on here mm -hmm. this is ridiculous Makes me mad. She's gonna make me mad. But yeah, it see, um, I hope that you know it, it works out for Diddy. I hope that um he I doesn't know. he doesn't go down, but these people, I mean, I, I I'm just gonna say that I just don't believe everybody lying. Um I don't everybody believe did. well, I don't know because it was a lot of people on um Michael Jackson. You know, I really movie. don't remember. I don't know how old I was then, but I just don't really remember the whole Michael Jackson touching children thing. I think I, I was still a child. Uh, I remember but, it. I was in high school or middle school. And, and so what happened? What did they say? That it wasn't true? None of it was true? They all was lying? 
the kids later on came out and said that it wasn't true. That they put their parents up to it. Their parents What's put them up to the kids. it. I think that these adults, especially the ones that's not suing, um, them and still, the ones that are not suing, then maybe, but the ones that are suing for money wise, I don't yeah. Believe it. Now, I, I will say that you know, once everybody gets to jumping on the suit bandwagon, you kind of don't know if they're telling the truth or not. But I'm just talking about the ones that did interviews beforehand saying that you know they didn't feel comfortable at parties and, and different stuff like that. They just never really said what it was, they just kind of beat around the bush. Mm -hmm. Um, so. I don't know. Did you type it in on? Uh... Yeah. Let's see here. I'm <laughs> I wonder where, where's the body cam footage when y'all call um y'all show up. They say that dude right there gonna tell it all. He ain't. He ain't. He not gonna tell it. He knew what he was into. He knew what he signed up for. He signed up to take the rap for when he got pulled over. Like he, they know to put people in certain areas to take the rap for things. Uh -huh. Diddy may not have been arrested during the home raids in Los Angeles or Miami, but someone in his entourage was apparently, allegedly, his, quote, drug mule. If you've been under a rock, Diddy was facing a lot of stress yesterday. Both his Los Angeles and Miami homes were raided by Homeland Security. And this has to do with an investigation in regards to trafficking. And despite the rumors that Diddy was on the run because his private plane had landed in Antigua, he was still in Miami at a Miami airport. So this is Brendan Paul, 25. Moisturize. Well, in Lil Rod's lawsuit, he accused Brendan Paul of being Diddy's drug mule. TMZ writes this, Brendan Paul was booked on two separate drug charges after the feds intercepted Diddy's plane at the Opa Laka Airport in Miami, namely one count of possession of suspected cocaine and another possession of suspected marijuana candy, both of, of which are felonies in Florida. So according to TMZ, Homeland Security and Customs and Border Protection personnel came across the described suspected drugs in Brendan's bags. He was booked in jail, but has since been bailed out. By whom? See, Did he so they was in his bags. They wasn't on the jet. They intercepted his plane, and you know they searched the plane. But he didn't say it was on. In it, they didn't. They not saying that. Why are they saying it was just on him in his bag? Because, like I said, when any celebrity has got stopped for drugs, somebody always takes the fall. Like it's mine. But they didn't say it was on the plane. Like, I need to hear them say it was on the plane. Homeland Security intercepted his plane and found drugs in the boy bag. So yesterday we were talking about how a couple of Mr. Cone's See? residents were being raided by the feds. Intercepted his private jet. Well, Means when it landed, it they went right to it. Mule. That's that's how Juice World ended up overdosing. So why didn't you? The thing about this, but they didn't the show footage. I've been seeing. Uh -huh. already know his ass. But that's how Juice World overdosed. He was uh, his plane was landing, or, and they already uh, had heads up that he had drugs. Was coming, it landed, they definitely knew. They were coming onto yeah. the plane, and he ended up taking the pills instead of getting time for it and overdosed. So this is what he doing right now. Who is it? That's Diddy. Well. Right there, they showed him. Oh, we knew. His security. Where's he at? You ain't seen him. No, girl, okay. what you been doing? Put your, put your finger on. He's sitting oh, down, tapping his foot. Is that him? Do. Okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Got the shades on. Look like his face hair growing out. I ain't know who that was. Whoever that is looks stressed. What you thought was supposed to be happening right now? Yeah. 
Hey, you need to relax. If you're going down, you're going down. I don't know. Somebody in the bushes filming him. <laughs> I'm in the bushes too. I'm going to TMZ. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Dude, that's probably TMZ in the bushes. Your boy got that. I just had a hell of a night with a thought, and I think the condom broke, but I kept going. I should have stopped. Only if I. I don't know. Go to the messages. Let's see what we got in the messages on Diddy. Did I send you anything on Diddy? Go to your I don't know. I just know he um he he I, I just think he has money enough to get away with it. Mm. I think the difference is between him and R. Kelly. And by the time he got to R. Kelly, R. Kelly was broke. Uh-huh. Did he just hit his peak of getting his money? Uh-huh. He just hit billionaire status what last year, year before last. Uh-huh. He got some money. People like this get in trouble all the time. Mr. Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. Allegedly. But he got money. And he owed Dwight. But people like this get in trouble all the time. And they have money. It's just like, where are you at in, in your money game right now? Mm-hmm. Right, he, was broke. he was broke. He was behind on them houses he was renting in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. He didn't have the money to fight any case. Right. Let's see how much money Sean has. But even if he get away with it, allegedly, if he did it, or if this is just all not true and he's proven innocent, he's still going to be guilty for the rest of his life, just like Michael Jackson. Uh-huh. When all this stuff happened with him, he had a tarnish on his name. He never bounced back in the music industry, even though he was on top. But as soon as it came out, he never bounced back in the music industry. He was never the same. His whole family was never the same. Even Janet Jackson couldn't pull out hits because of what was happening to Michael. So it's the same thing going to happen to Diddy. He would never be the same. It would never be the same. Well, was Michael really having the kids spend the night and stuff? Yeah, he had kids spend the night. He trusted kids more than he trusted adults. Mm. Because it was the adults who was coming at them with the um the um the allegations. But Mm. later on, them kids came out and said that he never did anything. But by the time they said something, he was tarnished. Uh-huh. And it never came out that, like, it wasn't big news that them kids came out and said that. Uh-huh. It was big news. But it was big news when the kids came out and said that they did it, you know? Well, I don't know. If I could live to Bill Cosby age, we might have seen some people come forward after 40 years. Huh? If Michael would have lived to Bill Cosby age, we might have seen some kids as adults come forward, but now that he's gone, it don't they even matter. Forward, and some of the kids still, some of them, um, that be trying to be relevant, that was going to do um, Oprah Winfrey show, uh-huh. they did the sit down with Oprah Winfrey in 20, I think it was 2020, they sat down with Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey and they had to come back and recant that story because the stuff didn't add up. Mm. It didn't add up, talking about when he had Neverland, and the dates didn't add up to when he had Neverland. They had to pull that story. And the man was passed away, unalive, and they was coming out with a story. Uh Oh, this happened when I was a kid with Michael Jackson. And they had to pull it because it wasn't the truth. Uh So, but it still tarnished his name. What I'm saying is, Diddy will never be the same. He ain't never going to be Diddy again. Never. Mm. It's over. It is over. Nobody going to the parties after this. Nobody. He can't even have parties after this. I'll go. No, you won't. (laughs) (laughs) No, you won't. He can't even Mm -hmm. have parties. He's not going to even have a party. If he get off, he won't have a celebration. Mm -hmm. 
Because it won't be the same. Nobody's going to want to work with but them. But that's what I feel like. I feel like um, if I was at Diddy's status, another thing that make you look guilty is when nobody's saying nothing positive. Like, yep. I feel like for all this to be going on, these people that's supposed to be your celebrity friends that be hugged up with you in these pictures and stuff, I would think that they would come forward and be like, I'd have been to plenty of parties. Ain't nothing, you know, it ain't even like that. He ain't never did nothing. Like, nobody is saying nothing. The only person I'd have seen say was Luke. And Luke yep. said he think that it's because he was suing some company um, and that they trying to take him down. Who? Suing what company? Diddy was suing somebody. Um, go back and go back to Instagram. It's on the shade room. He was showing suing what company though? I can't that remember. has a lot to do with it too. That's conspiracy he said, theory. Maybe he liquor or something. I don't remember, but he said Diddy was suing something. He think it's a conspiracy or whatever. That's the only person that I've seen say something. But I don't even believe Luke being at no no Diddy party. So, um, I don't know. They be on the same level. Luke probably dropped the girls off on mm. his way to um. Mm. I don't know. Luke, oh, I don't think he'd be at the parties. Luke Let's still be partying. Scroll down. Down Simone. He was pretty much this morning. Luke, where you at? Keep going. Nobody's not going to say nothing. Nobody came to, um, nobody came to, um. In fact, I'm going to generate a couple hundred thousands or a million dollars to put in your campaign. You win the seat. You didn't call up the president. President didn't say, hey, look here, man. Nominate this mother right here. What? So now you got a, you got the state judge. So then now you, you black man who don't own these people company. You want to talk all your cash money. And you want to go after these people, what ends up happening? They start the smear campaign because they own, they down with the media. They got to smear you before you go into the courtroom of your peers. They go, okay, you we can't settle with this dude. We can't we have no voice of reason. He want to act crazy. Now we're going to go after you. Now we're going to call up our same senator Hey man, I need you, man. Go issue a search warrant, man. I need you to drag this. And and I'm gonna max out in your campaign. Matter of fact, I'm gonna generate a couple hundred thousands or a million dollars to put in your campaign. You were in the seat. You didn't call up the president. President didn't say, hey, look here, man. Nominate this mother right here. So now you got a you got the state judge. So then now you you black man. Who don't own these people company you want to talk all your cash money sh and you want to go after these people what ends up happening well they start this where is luke like where is he he got mold in the ceiling you see the mold at the top where are you like i said he don't be at the parties and <laughs> not where only that he? even if any of this is true coming from him I, to me he sounds rough i can't even get into what you're saying because oh. you ran what I took at it is somebody that was got money for winning a seat for running for election of something. Mm -hmm. And once they ran for election, they got on the seat. They had make a call to the president and all of that to get something. Mm -hmm. um, somebody that Diddy is suing mm -hmm. the liquor company. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ties maybe it's more because there's a error the hood that's what we call i want you to drag his i want you to have all kind of allegations so by the time he come in this courtroom he gonna wish he know we're gonna take every dime you got because we made you you didn't make us god damn it you put my stock you my money you me i'm gonna you i'm gonna break you out to the lowest term i understand what he's saying I understand what he's saying. I'm, 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 what? <laughs> what are you doing? I understand what he's saying. I understand. I get it. I get what he is saying. Here's the thing. Not saying what did he didn't do didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's say it did happen. All right. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. 
everything okay. people are saying, it did happen. And it's been happening for years. Okay. Diddy became a billionaire not because of his music. Uh -huh. Diddy became a billionaire because of the investments in other companies. Uh -huh. One of the companies he invested in was a liquor company. Uh -huh. It's doing very well. Let's uh -huh. say whoever owns Ciroc. Uh -huh. Okay. That's doing very, very well. Do Diddy is suing one of those liquor companies, uh -huh. which created something that went on with the stock. Uh -huh. Okay, the liquor company is getting mad because they're losing money. Uh -huh. The liquor company got some dirt on you. Uh -huh. Let's put let's let's bring this dirt out. Uh -huh. Okay, let's maybe we should have called you to um make the video on what may be happening because Luke, Luke? was not Luke. Uh, don't call me Luke because I'm mad because you had you got Freaknik shut down with Luke, your Luke. Luke should have called you. To explain what was going on. That's Luke what was happening. That's what he's talking about. That is what he's talking about. That is what's happening. So they're trying to smear his name uh -huh. before they go to court for this lawsuit. But here's the thing. They bringing it out now because once you get on a certain level, like we said the other day, uh -huh. once we get on a certain level, they have to bring us down to reality. Well, 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 this is the thing that um uh, was this lawsuit before Cassie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what they went and found Cassie and said, do this lawsuit? No, I don't know if that was the case. Yeah, I, I don't think he settled with Cassie. Well, oh, and, and of course, somebody and, could have been whispering in Cassie's ear. Oh, somebody could, could have. It could have, you know, her husband is could have been somebody's cousin. Really? Oh. Okay, so here's so another thing. What was J Lo saying? Nothing. That's what I'm saying. That that those but are the she's things. She's not saying nothing either. She's not so, saying that those good are the things or bad. But those are the things that make it look like it must have been bad. If you was in this relationship with him the whole time and you didn't say anything, nothing at all, nothing at all. Like not like oh we had a good relationship. He was good. I never had no bad experience. Is is nobody that he dated has came forward and said, "Hey, I was with him and had no issues." But nobody at that them party said anything either. Nobody said anything with fifty. With um, not fifty cent. He must be coming. He next because they did the the, the the median lady name fifty cent next. <laughs> did the media lady the, the lady? Mm -hmm. She said Drake. Drake is next. Uh, fifty cent got something against Drake. Uh. -uh. Mm. It was probably 50 Cent in Cassidy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a messy ass. Um, messy. But Ca go ahead. Um, you know, Cassidy had, I mean, he'd have been in quite a few relationships. Kim did. Um Unalive. Unalive. Mm -hmm. Um and J Lo has said nothing. Who else he been with? But none of them say anything. All those people that was with R. Kelly, did any of them say anything good? No one came yes, out. They did. The girls that the girls that he was currently with was them like the girls that was brainwashed. Hey, I'm just saying. The girls were saying, no, I never had a problem. And to this day, they didn't press no charges. They was like, no, I wanted to do that. Um, I wanted to be um told when to eat and and when to do it, that's what they like. That's what they said. Um, the ones that and, were brainwashed. Yes, and then no one he, came to uh, Michael Jackson defense either. What's the other girl? Um, the one that's a dancer that was married to him for years. I mean, all she said oh, was no. She drug him through. Yeah, you yeah. talking about Drea? Yeah, his wife. Mm -hmm. His wife drug his name. But not and she should have went to jail herself because you telling me you didn't know all that was happening and you was his wife. But that's what I'm saying. That I think that they either have to make a decision. Either I'm gonna say, yeah, he was bad and I was there for it, or say nothing at all. And that's why J Lo ain't said nothing because she was at the party too. I wonder if she named. 
Maybe Lil Rob wasn't around then. That would have been way back. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah, so that's why she's not named. Um, but she she was down to. She she was down to because otherwise you would say I had a great experience and I, you know, we just went our way, did part ways for X Y Z, but saying nothing at all to me says that you was down and you either gonna have to be like R Kelly wife and say, well I was there but I was scared for my life. Uh, you know he definitely was mistreating women. But when you don't say nothing, allegedly, you knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. Oh, my God. This is just crazy. This What's is Jay-Z at? Ain't Jay-Z his friend? Diddy said he was, and I Diddy. Um, Jamie Foxx said he was at a um, Diddy party. He ain't came out and said nothing. I think Jamie Foxx going to be named, too, because they said Jamie Foxx stole some wild parties as well. Jamie Foxx done said that did it throw wild parties. He has nothing to say else because he was at the parties. He was. No, no, he nobody was has, like they showed a clip of um Ice Cube, and Ice Cube was saying, like, you know, you gotta be down to, you know, for them parties. And he was like, he never went to none of them parties because he just didn't like the vibes. Um hey, and that's all he said. That's what I'm saying. That people been saying stuff. They just talking code. It's like I don't want to incriminate. That was King. It's like I don't want to incriminate anybody, so I'm just gonna say that it wasn't my cup of tea. It wasn't my type of party. Um, I'm good with being on the outskirts. I don't need to go to the party, but when I see you, I can say what's up, daff you up. But I ain't trying to hang with you, and that's and that's how they keep it to, you know, keep it cool in the industry. I think I'm gonna become a star so I can really find out what's going on. Um, and I'm gonna expose entertainment. You have to be in it for years. You have I'm to get in it. Soul. I'm gonna get in it. I'm about to become a singer tomorrow. And I'm gonna be able to find out everything for you. Who's doing what? Is they still doing the same stuff? I think the 90s is probably wild. 90s, early 2000, they probably was wild. I think it was more wild now than it was then. You think so? The problem yeah, is, I think everything, you know, everybody down with everything now. Like, I think back then, like, now you can literally find artists that's going to be down to do it with both mm -hmm. sexes and to make it, you know, it's kind of like Little Nas. There was no Little Nas back then. Mm hmm now you you can you can do that and, and and it's fine. So I think that now it's probably not as bad because they already like I'm cool. What's what's up? Mm, mm mm. Ciao. Oh, yeah, everything is good now. Everything they down for everything now except what did he been doing? Oh, well, they, they they was down with what did he was doing? It just um, uh, it's just a uh. A payout. Um, I feel like if you wait, if you wait to sue somebody for essay but not prosecute, then them two different things. Mm -hmm. You you didn't want to see them go to jail for it. You like right. You at a point where now you just want to be compensated. Mm -hmm. So, like you said. Hey, Lil Rob, Rob, Robert, um, Hitman. Rod. Is it Rod or Rob? Rod. Okay, Lil Rod. Mm -hmm. All this time, he never said, you know what? He let, me call, mess. let me call 911 and tell them that I was SA. No, it's about the money now. It's about I endured this to have a career, but you still violated me. So now I want you to pay me. Which I think they should they should change they should change they should make a law. I feel like there should be no civil suit if you never press charges. Mm -hmm. Like you know you should not be able to sue me for something you said I done to you, but you never called the police. Now who is this? That's Lil Rod and Diddy. Oh okay, working out on the boat. This was last year. In January, forty-four weeks ago, mm -hmm. you was working out with him. You was cool. 
Yeah. Get a workout on. But now you want to sue? What what is his allegations? Can we look up what 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 exactly is he saying? Oh. I want to know what what exactly. Is he somebody saying? said Prince Henry. Prince Henry was at these parties. Who was that? Prince Henry. Mm-hmm. Prince Henry the Prince, British monarch. No, he wouldn't know. Mm -mm. This man said, "Rod, please, we want you to confirm with pictures, evidence, Prince Henry attending these parties. I believe you. I just need these documents pu proof because Henry is a busy lying to the world. That's what it says. Um. As a grown man, why let another grown man do all that to you? And you still be around him. Exactly. That's what I don't understand. Okay. These are the list of defendants. Sean Combs. Justin mm -hmm. Dior Combs. Lucien Charles. Ethiopia. Christina. So all these people did something to him? Uh, well, these, well, I'm about to read to you. Christina Coran, the chief of staff. Okay. The chief of staff? The chief of staff of... Uh, it says the chief chief of staff to Sean Diddy Combs. Okay. Um, okay, so let's see. Okay, so da -da -da -da. did he put um Stevie J name in him? Hold on, we, we, I'm gonna read. I got the documents up there. Because he is with Stevie J. Mm-hmm. Um so let's see. Really Okay, so this is about a shooting at a studio. Hold on, let me so see. So he's suing him for a, a shooting? Hold on, let me see. Mm. Let's see what Rodney is saying. There's a lot of documents. Um, 13 pages. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so Mr. Jones has evidence of the distribution of ecstasy, cocaine, ketamine, marijuana, and mushrooms. Um, Mr. Combs provided a laced alcohol beverage to minors and sex workers at his home in California, New York, and the U.S. Virgin Islands and Florida. Mr. Combs, chief of staff, Christina, instructing her staff to retrieve drugs so she can provide it to Mr. Combs for his consumption. Christine, Kristen Combs, drugging and S.A., a woman, Mr. Combs detailing how he planned to leverage his relationship with Bishop T.D. Jakes to soften the impact on his public image of the Casey lawsuit, Cassie lawsuit, young Miami's cousin and assistant, S.A., Mr. Jones, actor Cuba Gooden Jr., S.A., Mr. Jones, rapper, it says redacted on Mr. Combs' yacht, Consorting and underage girls, S sex workers, and R&B singer, who name is blank, in Mr. Combs' Los Angeles house, consorting with underage girls and sex workers. Mm. It says, Mr. Jones, okay, so this is, he's saying that they had something to do with a shooting as well and put him in danger. Mm -hmm. um, his son, Justin, and Justin's friend, G. Mr. G is 30 years old, an African-American male. On the, uh, on the evening during this camp at the studio, Mr. Combs, Jay Combs, and G were in a heated conversation. The conversation was moved out of the studio into the restroom adjacent to where Mr. Jones was sitting. Mr. Jones was approximately two feet away from the bathroom when gunshots rang out. Mr. Jones recalls hearing multiple gunshots. Mr. Jones immediately went into a state of shock and feared that he would be shot next. Mr. Jones genuinely believed that he would be shot through the door due to how close he was. After the shooting ended, a crowd gathered around the restroom. When the door finally opened, Mr. Jones and I mean Mr. Combs and Jay Combs excited. G was lying on the bathroom floor in fetal position, holding his stomach bleeding out. Everyone stood around looking upon G. Okay, so he's saying that. Um, he, um, Diddy told the police that he had nothing to do with the shooting. 
He also forced Mr. Jones to lie to the police by telling them that G was shot standing outside the studio by a drive-by. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what he says about that. Um, then he says, throughout his time living with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones was a victim of constant unsolicited, unauthorized groping and touching of his his hole. So this is still Rod saying that he lived with Sean? Yes. Okay. yes. The events took place in LA, New York, and Florida and the United States Virgin Islands. In addition to the unsolicited, unsolicited and unauthorized touching, Mr. Jones was forced by Mr. Combs to work in Mr. Combs' bathroom as Mr. Combs walked around naked and showered in a clear glass enclosure. As a heterosexual- All showers are clear and glass. Well, he's saying he had to be in there while he was taking a shower, working. Okay. He said that he expressed his discomfort to Christina, which is the chief of staff. Christina responded, you know Sean will be Sean. Mm -hmm. She also attempted to downplay the groping of his genitals as mm -hmm. friendly horseplay. She said that that's just Sean's way of showing that he likes you. Despite mm. the assurances on several occasions when Mr. Cone began to undress and walk around the house naked, his chief of staff would say, okay, I'm leaving now, and she would disappear. Mr. Jones believes that KK, that's what they have named her, Christina, aided and abetted Mr. Combs' SA of him and was working with Mr. Combs to groom him in accepting this type of behavior. Uh, okay, so it says, here goes Stevie J. Here we come with Stevie J. Mr. Combs was aware that Mr. Jones looked up to him and idolized him as a producer. Stevie J is an American DJ, record producer, and television personality. It says that Mr. Cone used access to Stevie J and his knowledge of Mr. Jones' ad, um, admiration of Stevie J to groom and entice Mr. Jones to engage in homosexuality. Mr. Jones went so far to share a video of Stevie J anally penetrating a Caucasian man. Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with these blanked out people. This is an R&B singer, a rapper, and Stevie J. Um, now, how do people end up being like blanked out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, whoever this rapper is and this R&B singer, they name is not in this. They, they had the blacked out. Mr. But they, how do you know it's a raw RB singer in because it says it, it says what the occupation was? Yeah, it says what their occupation is. So Mr. Cone promised to make sure that Mr. Jones wins producer of the year in a Grammy if he was down to you know do whatever. Okay, and then it got screenshots of this video of him getting down. Okay, it says Thanksgiving 2022. Mr. Jones was in was in Mr. Combs house located in Miami when young Miami, Carisha cousin, burst into the bathroom and began groping Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones believed that Mr. Combs sent her in there to SA him. As she entered the bathroom, she dropped to her knees and began performing, you know, on Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones pushed her away. Young Miami's cousin did not accept Mr. Jones' rejection. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he has a, a list of stuff. Um, he has sex workers in the home. Um, yeah, that's when he named the girl, um, 50 Baby Mama. So didn't Young Miami cousin got a lawsuit too? Yes. And that cousin is also in this lawsuit. Yes. And he is suing that cousin. Well, no, he's just suing Diddy. These are just all the people that he has. Uh, he just has these people as defendants with Diddy. Um, the, uh -huh. 
the people that was for his involved. entertainment, his his record label, basically. Oh, okay. His chief of staff. Um, yeah, he didn't sue Stevie J or none of the people that because he feel like he made them do it as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, I mean it's it's pages and, and so Diddy is fighting this one. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he got yeah, I'm, I'm I don't know. Mm, mm, mm. Well, it doesn't look good for the home team. Um, mm. If he did it, he need to do his time. If yeah, he I mean, he, he must have been taking pictures in the parties because in the files there is pictures, like red light special pictures. Pictures like, of him doing it? They in they it's a party. It looked like a party at the house with red lights. It's like they got red lights in the house. Where you find this at? Send it to me. Let me look. Okay. It's 73 pages. Oh no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was 13 pages. That's the PDF said, document. Oh, I'll look it up. But all right, well, this is some mess. This is some mess. Well, you know what time it is. Yes. Now it's time to say goodbye to all my family. Make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget the notification button. And leave your comments below. We'll be sure to get back with you. Tomorrow is Friday Night Live. Uh-huh. Live Friday night. So tomorrow we'll be going live tomorrow. Um, are we going early or are we going on 8 o'clock? Probably a little earlier. Okay, because... Uh, a night comes home tomorrow. She comes home from New York tomorrow. So okay. I think we're up from the airport. So we're going to go on at seven. Let's go on at seven. To... <laughs> Is that too early? Oh, no, we can work for seven. Oh, okay. Let's go on tomorrow at seven. We're going to post the link on our YouTube page. Make sure you join us tomorrow. Bring in the conversation and make sure you're ready to um, let's talk about the tea. All right. All right. Until we meet again. Peace.